Well, it is Wednesday and I am back in the office. I was in Philadelphia this morning representing a client. I'll be in Bucks County tomorrow morning representing a client there. It's been a very, very busy week for our law firm, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Want to do a quick video regarding the medical marijuana card and DUI in Pennsylvania and DWI in New Jersey. It's a very important to understand that a medical marijuana card is not, not, a license to drive when you're under the influence of marijuana. What it simply does is it gives you a prescription to use marijuana. It doesn't mean that you can be stopped by an officer and, and when you're stopped, you can simply tell the officer, well, I have marijuana in the car, but I have a medical marijuana card um, and therefore I'm okay. You have to understand that DUI in Pennsylvania and DWI in New Jersey He's driving under the influence or driving while intoxicated. It has to do with impairment, impairment and driving. So you can be impaired by a prescription or a non-prescription drug. And a lot of people are being stopped by police, both in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and telling the officer, yes, I've used marijuana. And the officer, the reason why they stopped them was because they thought the driver was impaired. And all you've done is given the officer evidence that can, be, then, that can be presented at trial to convict you. And people think that the government or the state or the Commonwealth in the, in the case of Pennsylvania need a blood test to confirm impairment. They don't. There are statutes in Pennsylvania and New Jersey that deal with general impairment for drug use. And that can be proven through the officer's testimony and through your own admission. That's why I tell people, when you're stopped by police, just give your license and registration and that's it. Do not volunteer information and certainly don't give them your medical marijuana card and act like this is some type of license to do whatever you want. It's not. And, and I can't just stress that enough. And it's almost to a point where it's a little aggravating that people are getting these medical marijuana cards from the doctors and then acting like they have this just free reason to drive while they're under the influence of a drug. And it doesn't matter if it's a prescription or non-prescription drug. It doesn't matter if it's crack cocaine versus legal marijuana because you have a prescription card, you can still be impaired. Now, that being said, if it's crack cocaine, it's still DUI or DWI, but it goes toward possible mitigation evidence. Obviously, if it's a legal drug, as opposed to an illegal drug, that will influence a, a, a mitigation type of argument at a possible sentence. But, but, but it's important to understand that there are mandatory minimum sentencing requirements, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, specifically with regards to license suspension and even jail time in some cases. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the website, gambonelaw.com. I'm going to put out a article on this topic. It's a very, very important topic, but people have been asking about it and I wanted to do this quick video on it. But again, if you have questions, we answer our calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have a great Wednesday and I'll talk to you all very soon.